Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ruben, chef and owner of Smoking Nation's Barbecue, and today we're gonna to show you how to do a street taco with ranchera steak. I'm gonna teach you how to do the little rub for it, a little marinade. I'm gonna teach you how to do a guajillo salsa and chop up the sides for it, all right? So we're gonna start off with our steak. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start boiling water. As you can see, our guajillos right here, they're actually dry, so we have to reconstitute them. Um, so what I'm gonna do before I even start doing any of this stuff is I'm gonna start my water, so it starts boiling. I would just let that go while we start doing this. Um, again, like always, mise en place, everything in place. We have our guajillos right here. We have our ranchera steak right here, for three inch tortillas. These are gonna be for our street tacos. A white onion some cilantro, oranges for the marinade, some limes. And right here in here, what I have is granulated garlic and some paprika, salt and pepper down here. And of course, we're gonna use a beer for a, a tenderizer for the meat, make it a little nicer. So let's start off with putting our... So now we're gonna start with our steaks. Pull them back a little. So you can see I have about five steaks in here. Six, five, six. So we're just gonna grab a little bit of this, sprinkle it on top. It's okay if you go a little thick on it, because once you grill it, it's, it's all it's, some of it is gonna fall off. So it's okay if you you can't put too much on it. I can get a little bit of pepper. And salt, we won't do till the end. All right, next step, what we're gonna do for here is use our orange. We're gonna use orange, and we're gonna use the beer to, to tenderize the meat. All you're gonna do is just cut it down the middle and squeeze the orange onto the meat. You can actually rip the orange apart and drop the pieces in there. It'll help with the marinade flavor and all that stuff. And get our beer. You can actually smell the beer once the it hits the spices and all that and orange. You get this nice sweet aroma from the beer, a little hoppy. We're gonna cover this up and we'll stick it back in the fridge when we finish our salsa and then we'll start grilling it. All right, so what we're gonna do next while we're waiting for the water to boil, we're just gonna work on our side. So we're gonna chop up our onion and our cilantro, which are gonna go with our tacos. So what you're gonna do again is you're gonna cut down the poles on the onion, cut in half. Now we're gonna cut the poles off. Again, I like my food rustic, I like it chunky, so I'm not gonna mince it. If you're a beginner, you wanna slice your onions a slice at a time. With a little more experience, if you feel comfortable, go ahead and cut them the way I do. Watch your finger. And this is gonna be our onion that's gonna, it's gonna be raw, we're not gonna cook it, we're not gonna do anything with it, this is gonna be going on top of our tacos. we're going to be chopping is going to be your cilantro again this is going to be a rough chop grab some of your cilantro it's going to be rough chop so it's going to be about an inch apart and this you can actually leave the stems in a lot of times i take them out but 
You can even use the stems in. There's a lot of flavor in the stem. I think one bunch of cilantro would be about enough. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our limes. I'm gonna show you how to cut the limes for the tacos. Again, whenever you're cutting limes, you wanna cut off the pot, the, the, the ends. If you can see all that white stuff right there, this stuff right here is really bitter. So you wanna remove that from the lime to the points where you expose the lime. Cut it down the middle. Same thing to all the, same thing to all the other ones. And here you can decide how you want to cut them. If you want to get a lot, you can get up to 10 slices out of each lime. Show you how it's just one, two, three, four. So now you got five slices out of that half. All right, and our sides for our tacos are done. This is gonna go on top of our tacos, these are fresh. So what we wanna do is take off the stems from the chilies. It'll make it easier later, so you don't have to do them while they're hot. I used to do them while they were hot and I used to burn my fingers till my wife slapped me upside the head and said, hey, take off the stems before you cook them. You won't burn your hands. She's smart, I'm not. So. I listen to her and I don't burn my fingers anymore. All right, here we go. So we grab these chilies and we're gonna put them in the water. Water's boiling. You wanna see a rolling boil, so you wanna see the water starting to bubble on her. Put the chilies in there. You can actually, if you want to, once it's boiling, you can just turn it off. So it's gonna be hot. Now you're trying to do reconstitute. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this bowl on top of it. So it pushes most of these chilies down under the water. We're gonna mince our cilantro for this, and you can use the stem and everything for this, it'll be fine. So you start off by chopping it up. What you wanna do when you're, when you're mincing, you wanna grab, put some weight on the tip of your blade or your knife and you wanna go over your cilantro. This goes for anything you're mincing. So we'll leave this here, we'll go check on our chilies. All right, so what we're doing now, our, our guajillo chilies are reconstituted. So you can see they changed color, they're not like a bright red instead of that dull red that they were. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Pass these chilies from in here to our food processor. Our, our, all our chilies are out of there, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab the same water and pour it into our food processor just to give them a little bit of liquid. And don't throw it away because once we blend it, if it's too thick, you can always add a little bit more water and make it make it a little more smoother. Just gonna grab the cilantro real quick that we just minced. All right, so now what we're gonna do? We transfer over our chili over to the food processor. What we're gonna do? As you can see, it looks a little thick. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit more liquid to it. Again, we're just gonna grab some of the water that we used to heat these up and just pour it down. It looks pretty good. And we're just gonna pour our salsa into our bowl. And you have your wahiyo salsa ready to go for your tacos. The only thing that's missing there is any little salt. And it's okay to add a lot, quite a bit of salt to this as this has no flavor. So now what we're gonna do is just mix it. And salsa is done. Now what we're gonna do next, we're gonna get our steak out of our fridge and go to the grill. 
All right, guys, so he, we got our steak already marinated. It's been marinating for a little while. Just throw it right over your grill. Wow, it smells delicious. So our, our meat is really tender now because it's set in there with beer and orange. So now all we have to do, we don't care about hash marks. I know a lot of people want to do it. If you're doing a steak to serve on a plate, then yeah, maybe we care about hash marks. But this is going to go on tacos. So, you know, you get a nice little char, we're good. And these will cook pretty fast. So we'll just close it and check on in a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do here now is just plain and simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're just gonna heat up some tortillas. If you have a little griddle like this, it's really easy. You can layer them like this. So I start turning like a whitish color. I mean, these are already cooked, so there's really no need to really recook them. It's just reheating. All right, guys, so here we got our ranchera steak straight off the grill. It's nice and charred, some a little more charred than others, but this is perfect. It's cooked all the way through. So all we're gonna do to prep this for our tacos, and a lot of places they like to mince these pieces of meat, they like to mince them and make them real small, but we're just gonna leave them lar large pieces. So we can easily just put them over one right on top of, the, of each other, and we're just gonna cut down on it. About a half inch. Again, if your hands are sensitive to heat, you can wear, you can use a, a fork, wear some gloves. My hands are pretty tolerant, so I can actually touch the meat and I feel the heat, but it doesn't really bother me too much. And once you cut it like that, you wanna turn this around a little bit. Just get one more cut down the middle. So okay, some pieces are bigger than others. It's again, I love rustic, so the only thing that means that imperfect stuff is you know, perfect. Now all you do is you grab your plate and then we're gonna put our meat right on top of it. And there you go, there's your meat for your tacos. Our tortillas are done, we're ready to eat. So all that's left now is to assemble your fresh and delicious tacos. Start by laying out warm tortillas on a plate, meat on top, and I suggest you let your guests decide what toppings they want on their tacos. For an awesome addition, go back to one of my appetizer videos and add one as a great compliment. Now you're ready to really cook like a pro. Thanks again for watching and like always, hit that like, notification bell, leave me a comment or a question, and please, please share. Hope to see you on the next one. Y'all take care now.